I'm with Hadass Tsur, and she's the head of marketing and sales for the Jerusalem Nano Bible. Now, Hadass, what is the Jerusalem Nano Bible? Um, Jerusalem Nano Bible is an Israeli-based innovative company, which is a real game changer in the way we experience the Bible. Uh, what we did is we have developed a cutting edge and exciting product, which is the Jerusalem Nano Bible. Uh, we have managed to print the New Testament and the Old Hebrew Bible in their entirety, written in the original ancient languages on a five millimeter chip using the most advanced nanotechnology. So the Nano Bible is actually so small, you, it can really sit on your fingernail. Um, the whole text of the Torah, the Old Testament, and the New Testament is compressed into a tiny surface of five millimeter. The text is visible and clear under imaging in a scanning electron microscope. So um, our Nano Bible can be embedded into many objects. We have some jewelers who have created incredible jewelry lines with the Nano Bible. But the sky is really the limit in regards of utilization possibilities of this incredible Bible. Um, it's manufactured by Tower Jazz, which is a semiconductor company also located in Israel. So the Nano Bible is 100% designed and manufactured in, manufactured in the Holy Land. Being cultivated in the Holy Land, the Nano Bible embodies the merging of the spirit and technology of Israel. Creating the smallest Bible, we wanted to enable believers around the world to carry God's words with them at all times, worn close to heart everywhere. And when was the company founded and why was it founded? Ami Bentov, who is uh, the CEO and founder of Jerusalem Nano Bible, is um, a video journalist. He founded Jerusalem Nano Bible in 2013. Um, Ami started on the front line, capturing major news events as a war cameraman. The contrast between faith, prayers for peace, and the war and lasting conflicts that occur in our area motivated Ami to develop a product which will convey a message of comfort for all faiths. Our mission is to reignite the spiritual dialogue about faith through modern technology by allowing believers to carry the word of God with them wherever they go. The Jerusalem Nano Bible was invented so it may be carried on our body or in one's pocket. Our aim was to be able to mass produce it and cater it to really every single pocket. And uh, did it take long to develop and produce the world's smallest Bible? Yes, but only so we could find the precise process that will allow to manufacture it quickly, efficiently and affordably. By now we have achieved a very efficient process. So the Jerusalem Nano Bible is made from silicone wafer, which is a thin slice of semiconductor material. It's derived uh, from sand typically used in precision printing of circuit boards um, for electronics. However, the Jerusalem Nano Bible is not electronic device or connected to the internet. We actually repurpose the printing technology to reproduce the Bible onto a tiny five millimeter wafer surface. Uh, with, with a special program, the nano scientist translated the biblical text files in whole into an actual image or photograph, which will ultimately be projected onto the smallest of surfaces. The text is covered with a protective layer made from silicones. The letters are nano printed or engraved in aluminum. Mm. And uh, was it a personal mission to, to develop this Bible? So as I mentioned, Ami, our CEO and founder of Jerusalem Nano Bible, was inspired by his experiences as a video journalist. Uh, being exposed to war zones and conflicts, he wanted to shift the focus back to spirituality and peace. The constant juxtaposition between conflict and faith, that is what ultimately motivated him to develop the Jerusalem Nano Bible. Uh, Ami immediately thought that this kind of Bible should always be available to everyone around the world. That is why he sought out to find a way to bring this miracle of technology and faith to the wide public in an affordable manner without diminishing any of the technological wonder and especially uh, the holiness of the text. So Ami's personal mission was to generate goodness and help bring believers closer to the Bible. Now you have the Old Testament and the New Testament. How small is the actual writing? How small is the writing? Well, the Old Testament has the 
the entire 24 books. So as I said, we have the Old Testament and the New Testament. They're written in their entirety on uh, the surface. Each letter uh, is the size of one nanometer. A single nanometer is one billionth of a meter. For comparison, it's like putting a marble next to the size of Earth. Mm -hmm. That is a nanometer. Um, so the letters are inscribed into a layer of silicon oxide, which is the same chemical compound found in the composition of sand. Um, another example to understand the size of the writing is if we compare it to a strand of hair, which is about 100,000 nanometer wide, while one letter in the Jerusalem Nano Bible is approximately only 600 nanometer wide. So that is just to understand the size of the letter. To actually be able to read the Nano Bible, you need an electron microscope to zoom in the text. And are you going to join the Old Testament and the New Testament together in the future? Will you need a bigger piece? Um, well, you know, when, when there's a will, there's a way. Nanotechnology keeps evolving, and I'm positive that it might be even possible today. Um, we haven't looked into the idea of combining the two together in the same surface, but if there will be a demand for it, we will definitely try. And how powerful does the micro microscope have to be to read it? So a regular optical microscope can't view the text. Uh, to view the Nano Bible, there is a need for an electron microscope, which magnifies times 1,000 at least. And an electron microscope uses a beam of elect electrons to examine objects on a very fine scale. In an optical microscope, however, the wavelength of light limits the maximum magnification that is possible, so that is why it's not visible in a regular optical microscope. And I understand uh, that you're in the Guinness World Records as well. Uh, we registered at the time to be considered for the title of the smallest Bible in the world. Uh, we handed in all the paperwork, verifications, and authenticity certificates, but the Guinness team decided eventually that we belong in the general nano book uh, category and not the nano Bible category. So we ended up not receiving the title. However, as far as we know, we really are the smallest Greek version uh, nano Bible. Again, the Guinness team placed us in the general nano book, which uh, there is a nano book that is smaller than our nano Bible. Mm -hmm. Can you get it smaller in the future? It is possible uh, to make the nano Bible smaller. Um, however, that isn't our goal at the moment. Obviously, we are big fans of technology and we were fascinated and attracted by the combination of faith and high tech. But this size of the Nano Bible was chosen after a profound thought regarding the measurements. We aim to achieve the precise size that will allow us to keep it affordable to all and to allow its mass production. So making it smaller will make it um, probably more expensive and um, the mass production will be slower. So the, the five millimeter Bible itself you're putting into jewelry and selling the jewelry? It can be embedded into jewelry, but you know, the sky is the limit as far as the utilization of the Nano Bible. We are always looking for uh, new opportunities and new ideas that will allow us to, to incorporate this Nano Bible in many other objects and, and and incorporate it in our daily lives. What sort of other things could you actually plant it into? You know, we have many ideas. We are also always happy to hear from our clients or from people who encounter the Nano Bible, what they think, how they see it, how they experience it. That is where we get our inspiration from, from people and how they react to the Nano Bible. Mm. And, and what's your prayer for this Nano Bible for the future? Um, we have many prayers for our company and our Nano Bible. We want believers around the world to know about this incredible product. We are receiving unbelievable reactions from clients everywhere. Our vision is coming slowly to life and it's really heartwarming. Um, knowing that what we had envisioned, uh, bringing people closer to their faith and to the Bible, is happening. It's really the best reward there is. Of course, we aren't stopping here. We believe that there is much more to be done and inv investigated of how to incorporate the Nano Bible in our lives. We are always open to new ideas and thoughts. As I said, 
We will be happy to hear from manufacturers, designers, community leaders, students, nonprofit organizations. Anyone who has the Bible in their hearts uh, is welcome to join our Nano Bible community. And what's your website for people who'd like to know more? We have further information on JerusalemNanoBible.com as well as HolyLandNanoBible.com. We are always happy to receive your emails to um, office at JerusalemNanoBible.com. Visit our Facebook page and become our friend. We are looking forward to hearing from whoever has the Bible in their hearts. Okay, Hadas, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for having us.